Hello friends, many of you enjoying SUV's view because it's higher. But now I'm raising the camera so it will simulate a truck driver's view. I hope you're gonna enjoy this view. Anyway, this is not my topic today. Today I am talking about education system. And I'm not talking about education system in my country and all over the world. And I'm gonna try to set up a new one. I'm sure it's not gonna be implemented, but at least I'll get a shot out of it. So sit down and enjoy and learn why I say that and what is the benefit uh, of the new system that I'm creating. Nowadays, cars drive themselves. Before, it was animals driving people around. Look at mobiles. Now they do everything for you. They do your banking, they do your tickets, travel with them, they even uh, do your vaccine proof. They do everything. Your entertainments, your uh, camera, everything. All of this in a small device that you can carry around and uh, not worry about people find where to find you. Before the phone, you have to be in a certain place, certain times, uh, people has to know your number and you know, it's, it's a lot of headache to phone somebody. So what's the education system of us, a projector of the classroom? So the teacher doesn't have to write his notes with a chalk. What advancement? The whole system looks like the system of a prison. So you think you never went to the prison? If you go to school, you went to a prison because they have everything similar. You have to do your sentence. The prison lets you go out with a good behavior, but schools, whatever you do, you have to finish your sentence. So many years. The classrooms are a row with the classes, same as uh, jail. Just a row with bars, with rooms, similar to each other. In fact, in the United States, the contractors who build the schools are the same who build prisons. Home arrest, <laughs> yes. Now with COVID, we have also have the taste of that. Let's be serious. What's the students benefit from school? They go there for a year. They waste paper. They waste fuel for the cars, transportation. People have to pay tuition. Sometimes the government pay the tuitions, but still it's a tuition that we had has to be paid. When he graduated at 24, he has zero job experience. He has to start from zero. Some has a lot of uh, loan to pay for his schooling. So now he will start again from zero. Finding a job is very difficult without experience. And after that, he will start his life with almost no money, unless he's uh, inherit something or he has a wealthy family. Now, the question, the big question. Do I have a solution for that? I'm sure everybody thinks that this is the only thing that's available. And uh, 
I don't think anybody can come up with something better than this. I don't know. For my humble opinion, um, I have a, a plan that might work. With your help, we can come up with something great. It might not be used, but at least we should replace the schools with labs or factories or something that produce something so the students for example if he likes farming it will be something that they farm and they produce something and the money coming out of that uh, mentor which is the teacher or the mentor will get a percentage of it the rest goes to the students uh, the students will take a portion of it and the rest of it goes to uh, their future whenever they said I get enough experience I need to uh, leave this uh, field because m most people learn so many things in the school they never use and it's just a waste of time this way people will concentrate on things they want to do and if they don't like it, they just jump to next lab or uh, factory or whatever and learn uh, more skills, other skills. So they have one or more skills. There is no limitation. You, they shouldn't say you have to go to until you're 24, graduated. Whenever people think that have the enough skills, then they can go and uh, work. The students, where well, they are 18, 14, 20, 21, they be able to produce money for themselves. And I, if they reach 24, they have wealth, they have like 10 years experience or nine years experience, work experience. The young people will take a lot of jobs. So people can retire early and enjoy life while they have a good health. The summary of my proposal, we should teach kids very strong base of reading, writing, writing understanding information, some skills, and then find the paths to the jobs that needed for the community set the classrooms or the labs to a, a teacher or a mentor the mentor will take a percentage from the class this will give him incentive to teach very well and the rest of the money goes to the students who will uh, take a portion of it to enjoy their work so they enjoy coming to the class and the rest of that you know maybe 50 percent or whatever goes to um, a, their bank account that they cannot uh, get the money until they uh, you know quit or uh, leave the uh, school or the class this way you know they c when they finish they become people with knowledge with experience for the certain job and they have wealth to build a, uh, a family and enjoy life this way they shorten the amount of time to be wealthy they can retire early, they can enjoy their younger years in re retirement with their kids and they spend money to also get the economy well. So this is my plan. I know there's so many, um, so many things not thought of but I would like your help. I would like people who has, who likes it, 
likes my plan or he has a different plan or anything uh, you know that he has in his mind or an idea why don't you just write it in the comments then anybody likes his idea will have like a star or I mean likes so we'll see how many likes in these ideas and next video I will come and make a new proposal that takes in consideration what uh, these people th thought of uh, what's if, the, if it, nobody likes it it will be eliminated if people likes it we, we I'm gonna include it and then after that we come and study it again I'll come up with something that include the good uh, notes and then we will discuss it again see if it's suitable or not I don't know what's where it's gonna go but it's a start let's let's do something it's it's gonna be fun we people hate going to the uh, to classes most people some people likes so I don't know but most people are hating this way we encourage people to go to class we get they will get rewards uh, they get you know their uh, life uh, after graduation or whatever uh, with money that they can uh, build their own home their uh, own family so let's go ahead and see what we can come up with it's going to be interesting i hope uh, you like it uh, if you don't like the whole thing uh, you can just do dislikes and i will just think of something else uh, this is a way you know like i said we are in a road it's like some where i'm talking to you sitting beside me in the road and you know discussing things i know that you cannot answer me in the comments be below now i leave you with the rest of the uh, video and enjoy the roads as it was with the music thank you everybody i'm i'm very excited to see your feedback and your comments i'm sure we're gonna have a very very nice debates about it because education everybody has to go through you know and this is interesting and if this went well I'll start doing other projects and also if you have a project that you want me to think about and you don't like you know just give me a, a, a hint or give me a suggestion I will start to tackle it I'll think about it tackle it and then send it to you guys and you tackle it also and we will see what come we come up with for now goodbye thank you for listening
Now I have to go and buy supplies for my kids for the new year, school year. And you know where I got this idea to start with. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>